I hope they have those little shrimp pastry things. Shrimp puffs, Rage. Hey, buddy, the gym's down the street. My bank and they're closed. You're getting quite a workout there. You think? Do you know what I'm thinking? Commerce, they're open late. They're open seven days. Saturdays and Sundays, too. But now? Let's go, come on. I work out, too, you know. I knew he'd like my bank. Your bank? There's no place like Commerce. Experience America's most convenient bank. Hey, Eric, I had a question. Is it too late? No, nah, come on in. What do you think? Pre-flop, middle position. Oh, man. Did you already call the blind? Kinda. Hey, Mike. Yeah, well, I mean, you can hope to flop trips and... Yeah, he's, he's got it right. You should've folded. Thanks. Yeah. Good luck. To learn, chat, and play with the pros, go where they live. FullTiltPoker.com You know, when I was 15, I was Miss Teen Oklahoma. Interesting. Well, I've written two best-selling poker books, and I'm six foot nine. Amazing. From 10 feet away, I can throw a playing card through a carrot. Oh, Miss Oklahoma, good. Oklahoma. <laughs> to learn, chat, and play with the pros, go where they live. FullTiltPoker.com Do you like the conditioner and shampoo in one? Well, yeah, you know, I do, but it does leave my hair a little oily and, and... Dang it! Oh! 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 What is wrong with you, you idiot? This is not a toy! Crazy, Bobby. He's I... sensitive. He... What if he tore it off? I can't, I can't believe... You've got some big ones, my friend. I didn't think you had it in you. Scratch here. There's a dent over here. Stuart and I get the playoff picture back from the dark room when we come back. We're clear. Oh, oh, the prompter's uh, going too fast. Stop, I can't keep up. Come on, it's not the teleprompter. It's you, not stop the. My throat. I can hardly talk. Give him some tea. Give him some tea. Oh, I can't go back out. I don't want to go back out. Cut me. Cut me, Lou. Come on, baby. Come on. Snap out of me. Don't be a lollipop. Get out there. Tonight's your night. One. Oh, without question, these days the word on everybody's lips. Regina Miller, you stink! You stink! She ain't got nothing. She ain't got nothing. That was luck. That was luck. You shut up. St. Ignatius, eighth grade girls basketball is fantastic. Regina, where's your game at? Where's your game at? Where's your game at? Shut up! There he is, Peter. You know, you can tell a lot about a man from his shoes. Brett Favre? is no different. His starter flex are the hardest working shoe in the game. They get the job done, just like the man who wears them. They're not shoes. They're just slippers, that's all. Slippers don't say anything about anyone. Starter, you gotta earn it. Got a mattress. Oh, great. We're gonna go around back. What? What are you looking at? Will you shut the door? Can you shut your pie hole? Sorry you had to see that thing with the wife, Dick. Little, uh, tiff. Oh, come on, move, move, move! Oh, uh, this is good. This is really good. I hibernate for eight months. Honey, what's going on huh? down there? Will you shut up, please? I'm with the mattress, guys! What? What? We need you to sign this. Yeah, okay, yeah, sign it yourself. Come on, boys, move it along. Come on, be on your way. Let's Thank go. You. Don't let the door hit you in the tail on the way out, all right? Thank you very much. Schwartz? Jen? <laughs> I thought that was you. Hey, Good to see kids, you. this is Mr. Schwartz. He's a lawyer with your daddy's firm. Remember Billy's father? I'm Hi, Mr. Mr. Schwartz. Oh, gosh, they've grown up so much. I haven't seen them since the picnic last summer. Hi, guys. They're like weeds. Oh. So 
What's all this? I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Are you hooking? Yeah, I'm hooking. <laughs> well, not seriously. Just weekends. More for kicks than anything else. That is so great. You know, I keep telling Tom he needs something outside of the office. It's really nice. I'm outside, well, most of the time, and I get exercise. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, your trick must think we're incredibly rude. We'll go. Oh, so don't worry about him. He'll be happy in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Oh, sorry about that, honey. Sugar's ready to rock you. Huh? Just go right in Our campaigns over the last few years have definitely become a part of pop culture, and we're very, very proud of that. The Easy Campaign was extremely successful for us. Celebrities having an easy time, and that was great. So we had William H. Macy playing his little, I think he played a little banjo. What? Harmonica. We had Luscious Jackson, we had Steve Tyler, you know, and booking that right celebrity for the spot was always the challenge. And we got some great people, but there were some people who didn't work out. Not all the spots, which means commercials, uh, have connected with everybody. And that's okay because, I mean, it's not like we're trying to be on every street corner in America. The khaki swing dance commercial took swing dancing and pulled it out of the grave. And that freeze frame, when they're dancing and then there's the freeze frame, and they go around and then that bastard Keanu Reeves comes out with his friggin' Matrix movie and goes, hey, look, I came up with this. No, I... We collectively came up with a wonderful resurrection of something that was, of course, pioneered by the wonderful musicians of the 20s. The go-go, the groove, it's all very specific American dance forms. Uh, and quite frankly, there were a few that didn't translate as well. No, but nobody's fault. You know, nobody's fault on horror. From a marketing standpoint, it was just too specific. These are folks who don't do a lot of retail shopping. 40% uh, of Gap business is done on Saturday, so they're not going to be there because they're doing the other thing. I mean, the Everybody In campaign was all about finding the right song. We thought the next place to go after the nostalgia of the Mellow Yellow or the, the poppiness of the Madonna song was to go for street, urban, gritty, in your face. Looky, looky, I did it for the milky. Pop that coochie, yeah, yeah. Stick it up your ass, stick it up your ass, stick it up your ass, stick it up your ass. See, the thing that gets me about that spot, you can say ass. Right now, I can say ass to you. I can say, you're, you know, you look like an ass. That's fine. I can say that to you. But if I want to say, hey, stick this up your ass, I'm dead. Okay? I can say, put it on your ass, I'm fine. I can say, put it near my ass, I'm okay. But if I want to put anything inside of your ass, we're not going to hear about it. And it's a technicality. It's semantics. And by the way, I'm only trying to sell pants. Okay? And, and guess what? Your pants go on your ass. Okay? Now, if you want me to shove the pants up somebody's ass, then, you know, I'm in trouble. But if I want to put the pants on my ass, I'm fine. What does that mean? I don't know, okay? I'm confused. Help me. <laughs>